One of the biggest mistakes people make when creating mind maps is starting without a clear goal in mind. It's important to take some time to think about what you want to achieve with your mind map before you start creating it. Without a clear goal, your mind map can quickly become unfocused and confusing, making it difficult to use as a tool for organizing your thoughts and ideas. Another common mistake when creating mind maps is using too much text. Mind maps are meant to be visual tools that help you organize your thoughts and ideas, so using too much text defeats the purpose. Instead, try to use images, symbols, and keywords to represent your ideas. This will make your mind map more visually appealing and easier to understand. Colors are an important part of creating a mind map. They can help you organize your ideas and make your mind map more visually appealing. However, not using colors effectively can be a mistake. When using colors, it's important to choose colors that are meaningful and relevant to your ideas. Avoid using too many colors or colors that clash, as this can make your mind map confusing. Mind maps are meant to be non-linear tools that help you explore your ideas in a creative way. Being too linear in your approach can limit the effectiveness of your mind map. Instead, try to use curved lines and organic shapes to connect your ideas. This will help you see connections between ideas that you may not have noticed otherwise. Creating a mind map is not a one-time event. It's important to review and revise your mind map regularly to ensure that it is still useful and relevant to your needs. Take some time to step back from your mind map and look at it objectively. Are there any areas that need to be expanded or revised? Are there any new ideas that should be added? Finally, one of the biggest mistakes people make when creating mind maps is not allowing for flexibility. Mind maps are meant to be fluid and adaptable, so don't be afraid to make changes as needed. If you find that your mind map isn't working for you, don't be afraid to start over or make significant changes. Remember, the goal is to create a tool that helps you organize your thoughts and ideas effectively. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and we will catch you on the next one.